Hello, this is Elliot J here with Conquer Statistics. So today what we're going to do is create our scatter plot, and then with our scatter plot, we're going to add a trend line for regression type purposes. So before you get started, make sure your data is laid out in the correct way. So your first category, which is SAT score, should be your X, and your second category will always be your Y. If you're not sure which axes um, your variables go on, think about it like this. Your X, the one that comes first, is supposed to predict your Y. If they're not supposed to predict each other in one way or another per se, then it doesn't really matter which way you do them. But in this case, it does, because when colleges are looking for students, one of their um, criteria is to look at SAT scores because they're predictive of future college performance. And the colleges want to have good students. So because of that, they look at SAT scores. So what you do now is go ahead and you highlight all your data. Once you've highlighted your data, go to Insert, and then in the Charts tab, go to Scatter. And the one in the top left is the option for you. Now click the plus button. Once you click the plus button, take away chart title because chart title is not included in APA. But what is, is axis titles. So now that you've done that, you have to rename your axes. So remember your X is the SAT score. So go ahead and write that in, SAT score. And then your Y. is college GPA. Get rid of the grid lines because APA doesn't include them. You just click on the line and then hit delete. You click on the other line and you hit delete. And now um, go ahead and add a trend line because we're going to use that later. And this you could be done if you wanted to um, just be fast and brief, but to make it look better I think you should rescale your X axis because it goes from zero to a thousand and the lowest score is 1200. So it doesn't make a ton of sense to have all of this space that you're not using. So now you double click the axis and once you've done so, um, click on this option over here. It's these three bars right over to the right. And it has the minimum for the axis and the maximum. So the minimum score was 1,200. That was the lowest out of this group. And then the maximum score was 24. So we'll keep it like that. And then now um, it looks a whole lot better. Um, last thing you may want to do is change the color of the dots. So click on any of the dots. Click home. And then probably make them black. I think that's the best color for them. And you can go ahead and make the trend trend line black as well. And that's how you make a scatter plot with regression. Thanks for watching.